In this brief video, we'll introduce Leibniz notation and talk about it just a little. Say that we have a function f of x, and we want to discuss its derivative. We have seen the following notation, f prime of x. But there are other ways of writing the derivative. This notation is called Lagrange notation. And the advantage of this notation is that it is function notation. And the derivative is a function. So having function notation is nice. The other notation that you frequently see for the derivative is that. And this and this represent the same thing. They both represent the derivative. This was the notation of a man named Leibniz, Gottfried Leibniz. So it's called Leibniz notation. So we have two different ways of writing the derivative. Suppose that we have the statement that the derivative of x squared is a 2x. A true statement, by the way, you could that using Lagrange notation, or you could write that using Leibniz notation. Leibniz notation is in some ways kind of clunky because it's not function notation. What Leibniz notation is good for is letting us compactly write statements like that. You see, to use the Grange notation, we had to first give x squared a name. We had to call it f of x. We don't have to do that with Leibniz notation. I know I did up here, but we, what we can do is drop the y, right, to d dx. In the place of y, write to the expression here. And there's the statement that the derivative of x squared is 2x. And I was able to write this directly using Leibniz notation, whereas to use the Grange notation, I first have to give this a name, and then I can use the Grange notation. So they each have their uses.